wonderful guests out there in TV land. This is Passion, welcome. And today we have with us a fabulous artist, Mindy Carpenter, president of Carpet Diem Papers. Mindy, welcome to Passion. Thank you, Brett. I'm so happy Hi. to be here. I am so thrilled you're here. I remember when I first met you and I thought, who is this beautiful girl with the Canadian accent, eh? <laughs> eh? A little bit of British, a little bit of Canadian. A little bit of British, a little bit of Canadian. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show today. And thank you for asking me. Absolutely. The set is gorgeous. The set I want to take home and, and put it in my own living room, Aww. as many people do with your art. You're becoming very well known, and it's an honor to have you on the show today. Thank you. I want to begin by telling our guests a little bit about how mm -hmm. you started. In 2010, you went on your own, even mm -hmm. though you felt it was a calling, you know, since you were wee small. Mm -hmm. In 2010, you went out on your own and launched your own company. I did. So tell us a little bit I about did. how that happened. I did. Well, I was at a crossroads, and I had left a job. I had moved to Ashland, Oregon, and uh, the job did not work out, but Ashland was wonderful, so I thought, you know, I'm going to make a go of it here. And I had started keeping a blog, and I was mm -hmm. painting 100 paintings. Somebody had said, you don't know what kind of painter you are unless you've done 100 of them. 100? 100. 100 paintings. And so I thought, you know, I, I could do that. I can do 100. And I kept going, and I didn't do 100 in 100 days or anything I had set out to do, but I did complete the 100. Did it take a year for it the 100? It took probably a year and a half, two okay. years, but I, I did it. And it proved to me that you really improve after 100. Well, Anything. congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That's amazing. Anything yeah. after 100, right? Exactly, exactly. So I had, I had images after 100 paintings. I had enough images to produce a greeting card line. So I used those images, even though I didn't know that's what I was producing at the time. Mm -hmm. I had it on file. Fantastic. Yeah. So your paper card company, um, your work mm -hmm. is in Ghirardelli Square in San Francisco, mm -hmm. in Carmel. Anna. It is. Tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about how on earth you launch a company <laughs> and within five years or less, you're in San Francisco's Ghirardelli oh. Square and Carmel Artist Haven of California. How, how did that oh. work, Mindy? Oh, sounds good when you put it that way. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, I have been in this industry for almost 20 years in the gift and stationery industry, working for different companies, one company for a very long time, almost 10 years. So I, I knew a little bit about launching a card company, and I had some contacts, and I had good friends. And so I, um, I first approached my friends, the friends that owned retail stores, and they have a store in Carmel and a store uh, at uh, Ghirardelli Square in San Francisco, and they generously offered to sell my cards, so I said yes. Wow. And then they offered to sell my paintings. And once my paintings were selling and my cards were selling in these really beautiful exclusive areas, it started to catch on, and other wholesalers and retailers would see that I was placed in great places, and... Uh, and it's happening. Oh, I'm yeah. so happy for you. <laughs> Thank that is you. fantastic. Thank you. I remember when we got together, when we first started meeting as friends over mm -hmm. coffee and started mm -hmm. dreaming together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been supportive that way of each other. Yes. I really appreciate your support of me mm -hmm. and my endeavors to be a speaker. And I remember yes. telling you, you're going to have your lines out there in mm -hmm. major stores across the country. Yeah. <laughs> and your artwork is beautiful. So Carpe mm -hmm. Diem, yes. before mm -hmm. we go to clip one, which we will go to clip one in a moment of you mm -hmm. at a trade show. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, we're going to just tell the audience a little bit about mm -hmm. this that I am going to covet. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Steel. I love this. It's beautiful. Carpe Diem. And of course, yes. that's the name of your company. It is. Yes. So how did this yeah. particular and when did this particular piece come into being? Well, this is this is probably four years old, four or five years old, right when I started the company. I own those letters, those vintage letters, and those are the letters I use in the booth, the trade shows that I do around uh, North America. And I was just, I was inspired. I was inspired by the um, the fancy parlor. I love doing uh, portraits of inside of homes. The color was the very first color of my booth. It just, it sort of captured a um, an innocence, an artistic um, 
just a quirkiness that mm -hmm. sort of defines my art, and I felt like, um, you know, that's become the the uh, like the symbol of my company. Mm -hmm. So I've got a greeting card based on it, and uh, each of my booths look very similar to that. It's very happy. Your it is art happy. Is yes. Very happy. Yes. And I'm so excited you put together a little gift package for me today, <laughs> and I've already given out many of your cards. Thank you. And I've yet to have anybody be anything other than <laughs> thrilled and they say, well, I know the artist, you know, mm. so it's it's a special company and, and I'm just really happy for you. Thank you. So when mm. I phoned you last week mm -hmm. and we were trying to set up details for the show today, yes, you were amidst a booth at a very loud and noisy I trade was. show. So yes. tell us a little bit about that yes. and we will show the audience a clip of your booth at this trade show in what state was it sure. in? Sure, I was in Georgia. I was Georgia. in Atlanta, Georgia. And Atlanta America's Mart is one of the biggest trade shows, gift trade shows um, in North America. And I go twice a year, once in January, once in July, and I exhibit with these friends that I had mentioned from Carmel and mm -hmm. San Francisco. And they own a wholesale company and they invite me to show in their booth. And then I work for them in their booth. So wow, it's just what a, a lovely, privilege. Lovely exchange. It's wonderful. Yeah. That is a really wonderful partnership yes so I think you're speaking to the yeah. powers of partnership and how your passion for art mm -hmm. and just bringing joy to people is changing the world mm -hmm. so go ahead and talk us through the clip that is now playing mm -hmm. of your wonderful okay. trade show well this is in um, Atlanta America's Mart as I had mentioned and it's in an area called high design and that is where um, exhibitors who who have um, specialty products, often uh, handmade, higher end, real like boutique type items exhibit. And I meet my customers, it's a wholesale show. So those customers are writing orders at the show. So they are store owners, like for example, locally, like a Paddington station or Prize or that kind of retail store. They would come, they meet the vendor. I establish relationships there and um, I go home after and I pack the orders. So it's um, it's a really critical, uh, wonderful part of, of the company and and of, of growing the business. You know, I just I love my customers and my customers often become my friends because it's such a it's such a, an intimate, cozy experience doing these trade shows. Well, there we have it, Carpe Diem, mm. beautiful. Did you have a particular mm. instance at that trade show that stands out mm. that was especially pleasing well, for you? Well, I, I did. It's funny you had mentioned that because just before I got here, somebody called me that I had met that I'd had this lovely exchange with, and she wasn't quite ready to place an order. And she called me this morning and placed a fabulous order oh, over the phone. Wow. And we hit it off, and it was just like having a little, you know, a coffee date over the phone with a long-lost friend. Oh, congrats. And that's often how my customers are because it's, uh, you know, my product's friendly, it's happy, and people are interested in how it started. So that's I love that. the job. Yes. I love yeah. that. Yeah. So, you know, the intro music to passion is we can change the world. Yes. So you're making every corner you touch a little happier, mm -hmm. a little brighter. Thank you. I love yeah. that. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your yeah. passion. Okay, mm -hmm. we are going to show uh, a still of mm -hmm. a painting workshop postcard that you mm -hmm. release. And before we go to that, tell the audience a little bit about how you work your workshops. I was saddened the last one was oh, booked. I, I couldn't even fit into it. You're, yeah. you're so popular now. So tell me a little bit about your painting workshops mm -hmm. and you include your supplies, people mm -hmm. just show up, I guess, and create. How, how did you come about offering those? I do, it's, um, it was very organic. I, I, it was almost by accident. I had a few friends ask me, oh, can I paint with you? Do you ever te uh, teach? Do you have workshops? And I'm like, no, but so you could come over. So now you're a you know? teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you can come over, bring I know some how to coffee. make a pot of coffee and I have supplies. <laughs> so it really started that, uh, that organically, and once I had a few people and they wanted to take it more seriously, and they, you know, they, I developed a workshop, and so I have them at my house, and I usually have, you know, anywhere between four and six people. I keep them very small and intimate, and I, you know, I serve lunch and tea and coffee, and it's really, uh, it's just a sweet event. It's very nurturing. You are quite a hostess. Yeah. I've been I, to your house for a Christmas party. I do party. love it was hostessing. Blast. Yes, it yeah. Was a blast. <laughs> and we're actually going to show yeah. the audience a little 
insight into your home studio oh, because great. you do a lot of great. your creating there. I so, do, yes. Uh, we've gathered a clip showing mm -hmm. the audience what it's like to create as Mindy Carpenter at home okay. in your own studio. So before we go to that, we'll go to the still mm -hmm. of the painting workshop. It's a beautiful, was it done in Sausalito, the, the sailboats? That, that particular one, postcard? Uh, that is not Sausalito, although I have painted quite a bit of Sausalito, okay. but it's, okay. uh, it's, a, it's California. Okay, yes, yeah. all right. Yeah. So let's show the audience the clip of the painting workshop postcard, and, and next to it is a beautiful floral. Mm. Tell us just a little bit about how those were created. Those are just yeah, stunning. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Well, the one on the left is, um, I call that Ted's Vintage Floral because my friend uh, Ted bought that from me and so he, he got namesake. I do a lot of vintage florals. They're my absolute passion. I love, love painting flowers. I could do it every day. And the one on the right, um, it, it's not Sausalito as you mentioned, but it is San Francisco Harbor by dusk. And I, I lived there for many, many years, and I, um, I just felt like that captured sort of a, a moodiness and a, a, just a, a sweetness, a nostalgia for me that I have for that city. So it's I paint seascapes often. Those are two of my, my preferred topics. Yeah. It's a beautiful city, and you did it justice, for mm, sure. Thank you. I grew up not far from there. And That's right. Yeah, it feels, mm. always feels a little bit like home mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. growing up on the peninsula. Well, let's go ahead and go to clip two then okay. and show our guests, our viewers, what it's like to create at home with you. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead to clip number two. Hello from um, headquarters of Carpe Diem Studios. I, I was thinking that I would film something artistic and that it would be be in me in action painting and it would look incredibly uh, romantic and creative and I thought you know this actually is just this is my life and I'm gonna film it the way I actually work not the way I wish I worked in a perfect studio I have a studio in my living room this is where I work this this is it and in real life, it's not all that clean and organized. It's, uh, there's a little bit of chaos because this is how I work best. I always have projects on the go. I paint almost every day. I paint right here. It's a great view. So this is uh, incredibly inspiring. I also pack orders right here in my very organized. I'm doing some air italics here that you can't see, my organized shipping desk. And um, in the summer, it's wonderful because I keep the door open and this is my outdoor studio and view and oh, just place of peace and relaxation. And funnily enough, I actually don't, uh, I don't paint this view. I often paint oceans, but you know, it's like Hemingway was inspired to paint or to write stories about life back home when he was in Paris. I'm inspired to paint the ocean and funny vintage finds when I'm uh, looking at the uh, beautiful view in um, Ashland, Oregon. So, you know, that's how creativity works. There it is. A little inspiration from Canada Day, because I am Canadian. My back porch uh, owed to the houseboat that I want to live on one day. So that's some um, yeah, that's a little glimpse into my life, into real life, as opposed to my fantasy studio. I love it. I finally met oh. somebody who loves flowers <laughs> as much as I do. I'm just oh. have you paint the walls yeah. of my house. Have you ever been commissioned for a mural? I haven't, but I would love that. That's a well, great idea. Thank yeah. you. I like that idea. I'd like to be the first guinea yeah. pig. Mm, okay. Work something yeah. out. That was amazing. I saw oh, a green yeah. cat. Tell me a little bit about that fun green cat on the wall, the, the painting. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, the green cat. <laughs> is that That's, even yours? It is. Okay. It's, um, I call that the Commodore. Oh, the Commodore. The Commodore. I did a little series of uh, cats that were uh, roughly my family members, and I didn't intend for them to be family members, but I showed my cousin, and she's like, oh, that's your dad. Oh, oh that's your mom. That's you. So I, I have a, a family portrait series, oh, how fun. and that's, that's my dad, the Commodore. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. How fun is that? I can't sell that one. Yeah. No, I'd imagine yeah. there are some things that you 
will never sell. Yes. And also, I understand you rarely keep mm. your own art. Uh, not that often. I, I have probably a half a dozen pieces, and um, but otherwise I sell it. Once I'm finished, mm -hmm. I really feel like I've let go of it, and the joy was in creating it. And uh, when I keep something, it's usually somebody's asked me, or it speaks to me in some way, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's not necessarily uh, my best piece, or it, mm -hmm. it just could be the start of a new series or a different direction or a memory, but um, no, I don't own a lot of my own art. That's, that's amazing because you are prolific. You I paint are a lot. Prolific. I do I, paint I, a I lot. I was amazed. <laughs> I mean, six, seven years since you launched your company and what mm. I've seen is huge. Your first gallery showing, uh, I think it was at an art walk in downtown mm -hmm. um, Ashland mm -hmm. and there must have been 200 paintings there. Oh, gosh, I don't know about 200, but I do I do paint a lot. I am prolific, yeah. and I paint almost every day because it's. Um, I decided that it, it's my profession, and if I'm going to go to work every day, that's my work. I'm mm -hmm. going to show up. I was listening to a fantastic yeah. TED Talk, mm. Mel Robbins, and mm. she's talking about, you know, when it comes to what you want to do or your work or your passion, you're never going to want to. So there's mm -hmm. always the making yourself at the beginning, the work ethic, mm -hmm. just every day, exactly. just showing up. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like you have done that and until it's your passion and your love mm -hmm. and it's just part of every day. I, I do, I just keep my foot on the gas because there's <laughs> a lot of days I don't want to work. Right. <laughs> Lots, right. <you> know? <laughs> Gee, I've it's never felt that. <laughs> not all cute and painterly. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, it certainly <laughs> looks all cute and painterly. It's like a Snoopy. Peanuts <laughs> show or something. Your life seems to be very magical. Um, there's some and, magic uh, with hard work. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I I imagine. I yeah. know your work ethic is amazing. So, congratulations Thanks, on that Blair. as well. I did want to mention mm -hmm. um, the partnership, the power of partnership that mm -hmm. you spoke of. Mm -hmm. I wanted to mention and, and give a little honor to those people that helped you. Mm -hmm. I believe by mentioning the name of their gallery. I hope mm -hmm. I get it right in sure. Carmel. Mm -hmm. Is it Elizabeth W? Yes, that's correct. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Well, how wonderful they were willing to give you a start. They obviously saw your talent, so yes, here you are. Yes, I'm very lucky. They're a wonderful company, great friends, and, and I, I do believe in, in the power of partnership and um, forming an alliance and a, you know, a partnership with somebody because you help them and they help you, and it's, it's changed my company. Wonderful, yeah, great. Thank you. Well, I'm going to hold up one of your pieces here just because it's darling. Oh, Stop yeah. and smell the roses. Mm. That could be the, the other <laughs> motto for your, that's right, your yeah. company here. That turned out to be my number one card. Really? If, this is uh, your yeah, number one card? That's my number one oh, card. fantastic. Yes. And, you know, that, that's an example of just not knowing where things are going to go. I painted wow. it with no intention of it being anything and there you go your number one yeah. card you have one with a k on it i gave i my mom do Karen. have one with it's a k. really sweet yes. a little cat that looks like her black cat on the chair yeah. and so i knew that had to go to her okay well we have another clip mm -hmm. uh, as we wind down here we're going to show okay. the audience a little bit about how you work with your supplies sure mm -hmm. and that's a big part of your life wherever you go mm -hmm your workshops, et cetera, you've got to mm -hmm. haul these things with I do. You. I call myself an art gypsy. Art gypsy, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go uh, ahead and show the audience yeah. clip number three yeah. of Art Gypsy, Mindy <laughs> Carpenter at home with her supplies. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning from, um, from the studio, from the artist's desk. I am... Um, this is where I paint, and these are my supplies, some of them. Here is my palette in use, mid-use. I use a Stay Wet palette. I also use palette paper. Uh, this is a great palette. It keeps things dry for, or wet rather, for uh, weeks. It's wonderful. And I adore golden paints. That is absolutely my preferred paint um, in acrylics. Uh, there's some wonderful brands out there. You know, all of them, all of them good. But goldens are extra yummy, and um, yeah, this is where I, where I paint, and I'm generally working on two different sizes, big and little, and I go back and forth between the two. 
uh, working small gives me the energy to keep going on the big because I love having a sense of uh, completion. I do these little guys. These are five by sevens. Cute little somethings. I do these uh, or work on these in, in workshops because it's so great to show people that they can finish a painting in, in one session. And, you know, painting something from start to finish uh, is called a la prima, and I love painting that way. I really, I find I'm the most productive when I can do that. Make a wish. And pot of clover. Yeah, and I'm just, I'm showing you these as an example that, um, you know, painting small, painting a little 5 by 7 or 8 by 10 is just a great way to uh, paint fast, paint loose, just do anything. Just, uh, you know, practice. So, good morning from uh, the studio. Right, I like that last yeah. one with the beach. Mm, We're oh both yeah. big beach yes, fans. Absolutely. Big beach fans. And I understand you paint in Mexico quite mm. a bit too. You have a family mm. member there. I do. My mom lives in Mexico. Mm. Yeah, lucky me. Rough yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> Rough life. So what's it like when you go there and, and paint? You haul your supplies? You need an extra suitcase for well, that? Well, you know, this last time I did not bring my supplies. I bought everything there because oh. the community that she lives in is very artistic and they have uh, a huge amount of talent in this tiny town and there's a gorgeous art supply store and the art supplies are a fraction of the cost that they are here. So I bought my supplies there and I set up shop and I took over her kitchen table and I painted... Mm. Not quite every day, but a lot. And I produced three or four pieces that I turned into greeting cards just right there in Mexico, visiting wow. my mom. So it's really turned into a portable career. Amazing. Yeah. So you can do this just about anywhere that I you can. can fly your supplies into, exactly. basically, or buy them on the spot. That's right. In this case. Mm -hmm. I forgot, too, about the currency difference, and, and it's probably more economical to buy them over there. Oh, it, big difference. Big yeah. difference. Mm -hmm. And right. different supplies, different consistency of the paint, mm -hmm. so the paintings look different. So it was fun, mm -hmm. fun doing something new. So painting every day, mm -hmm. Mindy, how, how does that work? How do you decide what to paint, where to paint, what time of day to paint? Do you, are Gosh. you inspired with your mm -hmm. coffee in the morning, or do you set a time like some mm -hmm. artists? A lot of authors mm -hmm. that I've interviewed have a set time and they don't mm -hmm. give that up for anything. Mm -hmm. you know, from 10 to one every day, they're writing. Mm -hmm. Do you have something like that or you flow with it more? I, I'm uh, I, a little combination of both. I paint almost every day mm -hmm. and if I have said the day before, if I've written it down in my appointment book, I'm gonna paint, I have to paint before I go to bed, period. Mm -hmm. And I have some flexibility with it, but if I've said I'm gonna do it, mm -hmm. I stick to it. And it helps, it's like keeping an appointment. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm strict with myself. I often don't want to show up. And then when I do, that's, that's it. I'm, I'm in it. And the minute my paints are there in front of me and I'm in my seat, mm -hmm. my cat's right there hovering <laughs> around me. It's like, okay, camera, action. I know, yes. it's time. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty, um, I don't think of myself as a disciplined person, but I think with this, I've seen the results of discipline in that, you know, doing a little bit every day if I paint seven times a week, mm -hmm. you know, that's 30 paintings a month or, you know, it, it does add up, mm -hmm. you know, and they're not all winners by any means, but there is progress. Great. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. what does Carpe Diem have in front of it? What is it? Oh, Are your plans for, say, the next question. year or two? Great We've question. got three minutes to kind of oh, share what your thank you. destiny um, is here. Gosh. Uh, well, I do, in the immediate future, I have some more trade shows coming up, okay. so I always look forward to that, and I have a couple of nice commissions coming up for some uh, local customers, so that's lovely. Mm -hmm. I've got fantastic community support. And then, uh, bigger picture, my true dream would be to be licensed by a company. I would love to have my images on, who knows what, uh, you mm -hmm. know, journals or mugs or tote mm -hmm. bags or, you know, so... I, I see I see a future for the imagery. I see that coming. Mm -hmm. It's done. I have the best Thank guests you. in the world. I just have the most wonderful guests and I see your success done. Thank you, I Brad. see the Carpe Diem commission, your beautiful mm -hmm. letters that are <laughs> one of a kind now and you own them. I see them just picking up steam and, and going far and wide. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah.
hope so. Well, you've been a blessing to my life, Aww. and you bless a lot of people with your mm. art. I intend to have more uh, hanging mm. up around me. So I'm really grateful that you came mm. on Passion today and that you share your passion with the world and you follow your passion and look what you're creating. I, I hope that inspires people that are, are watching to go after what they love. Thank you, Britt. Yeah. 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 Appreciate right. it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, it's been a pleasure. All right. Uh, well, thank you, everyone, for joining us today on Passion. I am your host, Britt Ivey. We have had Mindy Carpenter of Carpe Diem Papers today. You can find her on carpediempapers.com. Look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah.